Hello my friends, welcome back to the Archipelago Edition. We are heading to Supernova for one very specific re- Oh gosh, we have the AOE upgrade. Oh gosh. Well, that's going to be pretty good. So we are heading to Supernova, and this is for one specific reason. Because we have something that I would like to ask your guys' opinion on. Usually I like to figure out where you guys want to go, and then we work from there. However, today is going to be a little bit more important than that. It's more of a overarching, what is the long-term plan for this series? And that is, do we want to go to Char or not? Do we want to head over to All In, start making that bit of progress, and work with what we currently have, or are we going to do every single mission? And then just have literally everything available for All In. I think both of those ideas have benefits, and both of them have demerits to them. And I would just be interested in hearing what you guys would like to do. So the reason that we are heading here to the magical, beautiful land of whatever this mission is called is because I want to know what we're... This is going to unlock Char. The, the missions that would normally be Char, I guess I should say. So we will have that option. We can either continue down the paths and get more and more and more stuff, or we can absolutely just go and bop some guys. I kind of feel like I want to go Ghost Spectre today. I've not gotten to do anything like that. I think this is a mission where it's actually pretty okay. I'm not going to say it's great by any means, but it's definitely not a bad composition. We can go like uh, Banshee, Ghost, Spectre. Uh, I'm kind of tired of raids. I don't want to build one right now. But just like the Cloaky Boys, if I have to get some air-based anti-air, then it'll be that. And we're just going to we're gonna cloak them, you know? So, I'm going to get that attack upgrade. We're kind of just chilling out here, waiting for things, and I might as well go grab this upgrade while we are in the neighborhood. Oh, good. They both have G as a hotkey, so I'll get one of each. This better be good. Oh, the Raven. Nice. Not bad. What's going so, yeah, basically, I was kind of thinking that, you know, if we end up getting everything, the end of the series will be a bit anticlimactic, right? The entire idea in my opinion, of randomizers, is that they tend to focus on you trying to deal with the weird stuff that fate has given you. And we've done that. However, at this point, we have a, we don't have a full spectrum of stuff. Not by any means. We're definitely, stuff like attack upgrades, for example, we have good infantry, but we don't have good infantry upgrades yet. Which is why they don't really work as like anti-air, for example. But... Oh yeah, I just realized that <laughs> I'm going infantry. Mm, should have thought about that. Okay, cloak, cloak. Oh, that's a lot of guys. He's back, cloak. And then try to take all this down. So, I kind of like the idea of approaching all in with what we have right now. As opposed to what would be the perfect thing. Though we could just see how easy is all in with all the tools. And both of them definitely have some amount of appeal to them. So it's going to really be up to, I'm imploring everyone who doesn't normally go down to the comments and upvote things. Whatever is the most upvoted comment for the travel path that we take is going to be what we do. So it truly does matter. And I do want to hear your opinion for it. Hello, Marauder. You're doing your best. Oh, gosh. We don't have any armor. We only have one armor upgrade available for these guys as well. Well, that's okay. They are Spectre. They are other guy. We don't have much detection for them either now that I think about it. The Hex Angel. What the heck? Okay, drop a stun right here. Get some fun over there. And we're going to have to mosey on over to this base pretty soon. And keep clearing. I have a good tool to help clear the enemies. It'll be available soon. This is actually kind of nice because I won't have to get... <laughs> this is going to sound really dumb when I say it out loud. But I don't have to get more upgrades and the upgrade building isn't very mobile. So it's not actually that bad having 
this lack yeah. of stuff. Bring it. Okay, you're finishing up. Plus one attack is like almost me. done as well. And just cloak all these nerds to death. Alright. Are we right there? Yeah, it seems about good. Let's get another one going. I'm a big fan. We're getting another tech reactor, which does take too long to build, but not long enough for me to be truly upset. And we'll get our third upgrade for the mission. Regenerative biosteel, perfect. <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll show them. <laughs> They're gonna get wrecked by my biosteel. Let's uh, pull these back and uncloak them for a bit. Use these guys as the vanguard and make sure that they're not chilling next to a cannon because I like them being alive. And then we just kind of kill these. Hey, it turns out the ghost specter is a good combo. Who would have guessed? All right. So one thing that I'm lacking that I really would like to have access to is scan. Even if I didn't have mules, just the ability to see the high ground when I want to would have been real nice. There we go. So we're going to kill that building. And maybe... I don't know. Ooh, they acted kind of dumb there. Nice. See if we can... Just pressure some of these guys into doing something they'll be sad about later, such as exploding. Yeah. It's just like when you don't want to drink, but your friends convince you to. You get that real bad hangover the next day. Except this time, it's a specter bullet in your head. Okay, we take down the cannon. We take down the cannon. Okay, we took down the cannon. Wait, why can they see us? No, we're too visible. Um, how far is the fire? Yeah, we can squeeze another nuke out of this. <laughs> Are we going to get hit by this nuke? I'm going to go a little bit over here. Turn that yes into a no. Now, how many more cannons are there in this base? Some, which is too many. So we're just going to destroy our foes on over this way. Cloak and cloak. Oh, I think that one guy was uncloaked because I have to cloak my specters and ghosts individually. Or not individually, but like they don't do it at the same time. Specter do snipe pylon good. That's strong video game. Yeah. It's also very expensive to do, but we're going to take the base. And this is one of the harder parts of the mission, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think that if you can't go air on Supernova, you gotta go with something pretty darn good, because this mission can be a bit tricky. Especially if we were about to run into that. Alright, I think that this is the final pylon. Yes. Perfect. The base is mine. Now these lovely ladies will head on over there to protect me as my spandex man go and destroy the enemy. If this were an anime, the outfits would be opposite. I think. Okay. Shoot these guys. And then take down the Nexus and start the Great Migration once again. We're just like... I was gonna be like, oh, we're just like something, and I couldn't think of any animal that migrates on the ground. We're just like that one video that I saw that one time of... Uh, camels migrating through the Red Sea and swimming through it. I don't know if that was real or if it was fake, but it was awesome. So I'm going to choose to believe it was real. Oh no! My Ghost Academy. That's not good. None of this is good. Here, Mr. Funstun. Nicely done. And then I guess we need to build a couple more auto gases. Is under attack. Our SCVs oh, under what? Attack. <laughs> well, that's a harass. <laughs> I did not expect him to come and get me. Oh, that's funny. I love it. 
was drop another barracks and then grab another Ghost Academy because I am a stubborn old fool who likes to do the same thing over and over. What's your goal? Which is, you know, why I keep going for different compositions. I do like putting all my units in one hotkey and then being confused as to why this keeps happening. Oh no, 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 no. They killed him. They just, they shot him. I can't believe it. That was uncalled for. I'm a little afraid of these attacks. I don't actually have very much. It turns out they have cannons just everywhere on this map and it's made it really hard to move forward. Hmm. Can the ghost hit it from here? Okay. So the ghosts are gonna roast. Add on complete. I'm gonna make the most of it. You guys are toast. Oh, uh, we have too much gas now. I don't want to boast. <laughs> make a force field. Because force fielding the tall drum with permacloaked units is, in fact, just a thing that happens in Wings of Liberty all the time. And on the host. I actually lied. I just wanted it to rhyme more. I'm so sorry. Don't do that on the host. It's not a good strategy. They have detectors everywhere. Someone's gonna make a post on, like... Oh no, I did it again! <laughs> Okay, is Grant giving misleading strategy advice? Does he not know, am I building ghosts when I'm meant to build specters? Yes, I am. Nice job, Grant. Oh, I'd just be really bad at this game. I'm messing up everywhere. Don't shoot me with your laser arms. There we go. Are we going to be able to mine this area? Because there is a nice bit of pain. Ow. Is it worth nuking that? Yeah, it is. Not even because it's like monetarily worth it, but because I'm angry with them. I can't believe they did that to me. And we got the Banshees to keep us safe. There's no like requirement that all of our units have to attack while cloaked, but it feels right, you know? And I usually don't get to go big cloak energy simply because it's one of those compositions that's like real good. And usually it's banned in whatever challenge run is happening. But this is Archipelago, where the rules are made up and nothing matters. Bring it. Okay, take the Immortals. Fun stun. And blast them. I probably shouldn't have decloaked there. If I had just not done that, I would have more energy for the final fight. Wow, Spectre, wait, are Spectres faster? 2.75, 2.25. Ghosts are actually way slower than I thought they'd be. Ow. I just want to be able to, oh, okay, we're not going to be able to see. That is just not what's in the cards for us today. But everybody's blind when you nuke. I don't have a factory anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. But I do have more Spectres. I actually need to take this base really quickly. The no mule thing is really starting to be felt. Oh, interesting. Sorry, I just learned something and I'm not really happy about it. Uh, so what I did there was I tried to stun the pylon to depower the cannon. Turns out that just doesn't work. You can in Legacy of the Void, if you use the temporal field on the cannon, it absolutely does work. It will depower, if you get rid of the power field with the stun or temporal thing, it just depowers the cannon, but it looks like that is not a Wings Liberty thing. Do they have an observer just chilling over me now? I think they do, which is why all my friends are now dead. Yeah, life is a lot worse when Observer and no orbital command for scan, so I guess we're getting an engineering bay over here. I don't. It might be this cannon. We might have just barely been in range. We'll see. Smash these off. 
I don't see an observer, so maybe I'm just wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. Probably want to move from this position, by the way. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very close, the fire is. We got this base now. That's all that matters. And then swing our way over here. Give them the shots. Do I have more nuclear? No, I don't because I didn't have the factory anymore. So we're nucleus for the final bust unless I build one, which I should. Because there's no way that I'm going to win this without nukes. Alright, let's build this turret and then be disappointed that we didn't need it. Oh, they definitely have an observer. Look at that. Either that or they just decide to start hacking. There it is. Okay, fire. They had multiple. How dare they? Did we get them? I think we got them. Because they're not shooting at me anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. The what's your call call the ball got me. That's funny. Okay, so the observers are gone. We can pick our way through these. Probably, let's get the autogas anyway. I'm not sure if I need them, but I would rather be prepared than be unprepared. I'm tired of waiting. Solo operative, right? There we go. And now we can get the final unlock, which is the G4 cluster bomb for the Reaper. I <laughs> can't say I think that's going to be too good right now. Sure thing. Bad news. How long do we have? Uh, let's let's build the ghost academies up here, and then take down the pylon so they can't see them. Probably want like one more. I think that I'm kind of done with unit production, and we're just going to be on nuke production for the rest of this mission as we slow push our way in with the big bombs. Can you really not see this guy? What's your call? Base that was weird. Oh! I decloaked. Don't do that. Okay, nukes are on the way. I should not have built these tech reactors if I wasn't going to use them properly. But, you know. Enlighten me. Learn some other day. No, seriously. I'm really scared of this fire, actually. Like, legitimately terrified that I'm going to die here. Hmm. Can you give it a save? I don't know if that's going to help. Then we'll hotkey all of these so I can make it easier to build weapons. And then we're going to start the push. I sense their fear. Come on. Nuclear missile ready. And then we rebuild a nuke, and I think I can actually get another Ghost Academy. Nuclear missile ready. We just slowly go that way and that way. Nuclear missile. Actually, I think this is going to work because it's going to give us vision soon, and that's what Zagara needs: is vision. Field depleted. Throw another nuke down. Cloak. Oh, I don't have any nukes. Uh-oh. Uh, here, go over go over this way. Nuclear missile base is under attack. Please don't kill my workers. Those are the ones that I actually need the most. Yeah, Archons, go shoot these barracks. They're very, very important. <laughs> Missile ready. Just keep it going, the slow push. But fast enough that we avoid the planet exploding. So not not the super slow push. Fire one over here. And then maybe one over here. I am... 
actually very surprised at how effective this has been. Except for the fact that we are now out of money. Whatever. Oh, hello. Okay. They had uh, spotting somehow. And an attack wave. Neat. Oh, I see the observer. But I can't, I can't uncloak the observer. What do I do about that? Or this. Hmm. I don't have EMP. That's the big problem. If I did, I could use it to decloak the enemy. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use this to push the enemy back. And then before the nuke lands, we pull back a little bit. And this is pushing the observer this way. It cannot run through the nuke. So it can't come over here to stop me. I have one nuke available after this. And we can use Psionic Lash. Oh, but it's my one Spectre that's using it. Okay, perfect. Exactly zero dollars. So we were cost efficient. And we got it. And we got the devil dogs. There they are. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So, as I said earlier in this run, I want to know, do you want to continue clearing and unlocking stuff? Which would mean that we'd be going to either In Utter Darkness or Safe Haven? Or would you like to go to Char for the final four missions, pushing towards All In, starting with, in my opinion, one of the hardest missions in StarCraft II, The Outlaws. We'll probably make that a double feature when we do that one, by the way, so <laughs> we'd be going to Maw of the Void as well, <laughs> because, you know, that would be, that would be a bit much on its own. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.